Welcome to Zombie High, a weekly series where I teach you the solo strategies in all of the Call of Duty Black Ops and Black Ops 2 when it comes out zombie maps so that you can get to the high level on zombies. This week, we're going to be playing the second zombie map, Verut. So, let's get started. So, since this is the second episode in our series, um, I'm not going to explain everything that I explained in the first one because you should already know. And if not, you should go check out the first one. So, I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing and uh, you should know why I'm doing what I'm doing. Anyhow, also, if you spawned on that side, um, what you need to do is you need to play the game until you get to around, like, I think 10, and then you can kill yourself, and then you'll spawn on this side. I'm only going to show you the strategy on this side because it's the better side to be on. There's less doors to open. That's a couch. But there's less doors to open. It's quicker, and uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's just better off on this side. So if you do spawn on that side, you can play it, I guess, um, compare the solo strategy to that side if you want to play that way but I would recommend that you play on this side so we're gonna let all the zombies come in and then we're going to knife them the reason why we let them all in is so we have a chance of giving a power up and the reason why we knife them is because it only takes one knife to kill them on round one and he almost killed me bitch and um, and then you can get uh, more points for having a knife go and then we're not gonna rebuild the windows until the next round also, uh, Vroot is the first map that had uh, perks, so since there's perks on here, it's going to make it a lot easier. And since this is the Black Ops remake, it's going to be a even easier because there's uh, better guns in the boxes. Also, um, I'll show you later, but uh, Quick Revive can actually heal you on solo, which is very nice. So, we're going to wait for this zombie to come in. Come on, Mr. Zombie. Um, just wait for him to come in. I also am doing live commentary, so if I stutter or if I say something wrong, I do apologize. You know, but uh, I try my best, but for any of you that ever tried to talk while playing, uh, while trying to play a game, um, especially if it's a very focused typed game, um, you end up miss saying what you're trying to say, so I do apologize if that happens. I'm not sure if I actually said a few, a lot of things wrong in the last one. I probably did, because like I said, uh, doing live commentary is kind of uh, challenging, especially uh, when playing zombies, because you need to focus and make sure you run in the right way and all that stuff. So now that it's round two, uh, we're going to fix all these windows, get some points. If it stops paying you, just keep fixing it. That way, you know, the zombies can come in. But for the most part, wait till the new round to fix it. But again, you should already know this. Now, we're actually going to start shooting our zombies. So we're going to shoot all eight bullets into the zombie. And then get the knife kill on him if I can get it. Oh, come on. There we go. Also, if you don't feel like shooting your bullets, you can just knife them twice. I do uh, eight bullets into them so I can get an extra 80 points. But if... Uh, if you want to just knife, then you can just do that. But uh, also, shooting eight bullets will weaken them enough so that you can get uh, the one knife after. Oh, and that one I missed. But again, on round two, it's really easy to still get the uh, the double knife on a zombie without them actually killing you. Just when you knife, pull back on your analog stick. That way you're kind of pulling away. Here, we're trying to fix the window. Oh, you're mean, Mr. Zombie. And we're going to get the double point on that. Alright, so now in round three, this is kind of when we left on uh, Knocked on uh, Toten, but we're actually going to buy the Gewehr right here for 600 points. The reason why is that way we can stay down here, get some more points, try to get the, the windows fixed. Uh, there we go. That way we get double points. Always try to fix windows on double points. You'll get an extra, obviously, double points, but you'll get an extra 20 points per fix. So when you see the zombies, just shoot them twice in the stomach. Since it's round three, two shots with the Gewehr and then one knife will kill them. Kind of like how we were shooting them eight bullets and then one knife. Well, now it's two shots and uh, and then one knife. Try to not shoot them in the head because if you do, then it's an insta-kill. Um, and you again, you want to try to knife them to get more points. So we'll knife these zombies. Ugh, get double knife. Also, pay attention because they might come in. And also, it's three knives. If you didn't hurt them, it's three knives. So pay attention to that. Two knife shoot. You get the idea. I'm not going to keep talking every time but this will get you a lot more points I thought I shot him also if you shoot them outside it will uh, help you more Oh, nice because then uh, they're weaker by the time they actually get inside and then you don't have to panic like this oh and we get a nuke alright so round four as you can see we have quite a lot of points so we're actually gonna get out of here before we die um, I'm gonna try to rebuild this window a little bit nope didn't get the points alright so we're gonna come up here um, this right here is a thousand points we're gonna buy that we're going to switch out the M1911, unless you want to keep it, but we're going to switch out for the MP40, 4,000 points, and then we're going to open this door right here for 750. Open. There we go. 750. 
and then we're going to come over here and uh, we're actually going to buy the trench gun then but right now we're going to open this door for 750 so a thousand for the first door 750 for the second door 750 for the third door and a thousand points for your uh, mp40 and now on this round what you can do is you can tap the right trigger at the zombies and shoot them a little bit with your mp40 if you're good at that and then knife them that will give you the most points possible but if there's too many zombies just aim for the head that's a really loud noise. Aim for the head and uh, kill them that way. MP40 on this uh, map is really strong. Kills the zombies really fast. I like the MP40. Ugh. There we go. And also just pay attention. I actually pointed at my screen. How stupid am I? Pay attention to this window. You don't want the zombies coming in. And also pay attention to the box. You don't want them coming there as well. Ooh, nice. Insta-kill. So, now that it's insta-kill, we're actually going to just... Oh, I forgot I had the Gewehr. Um... We're going to just knife the zombies. There we go. And then we're going to knife this zombie. And then we're going to run back downstairs and buy Juggernaut. Because Juggernaut is awesome. Now a lot of you will probably want to buy Quick Revive right away. As soon as you we turn on the power and now this door is open. You'll want to buy Quick Revive for 500 Again, it's cheaper on Solo. Not uh, not expensive on, uh, on Solo. Because it can actually revive you. But I'll tell you right now. Do not buy Quick Revive unless you have Juggernaut. Um, there's no point. Throat's getting a little dry from talking so much. Sorry. Um, there's no point in buying Quick Revive if you don't have Juggernaut because if you don't have Juggernaut, you're probably going to go down really easy with Quick Revive and you're going to end up dying anyhow. So you might as well just die, you know, and then restart the round. You shouldn't. Oh, next ammo. You shouldn't need. Um, you shouldn't need. What am I trying to say? You shouldn't need Quick Revive. Um, you don't need it at all. Um, it's nice to have, you know, in case you mess up and then you can keep going, which you can get it three times. I think it's three times. You can get it three times before it goes away. So, I mean, it can come in real handy, but you don't need it. If you're really good, you'll never go down. And if you do, well, then game over. But, uh, you know, you don't really need it. But if you want to get it, you can go ahead. Um, I'm going to get it just for the sake of the video because you should get it. But as you can see, I'm aiming for the head right here. And now that we have uh, 1,700, we're going to buy the trench gun. The reason why we're going to buy the trench gun is when running around the map, you can sometimes get into tight corners, get killed, uh, you know, get trapped by a zombie. Now we have Juggernaut, so we can take two hits from a zombie, but we need to be able to kill the zombie quick. So we're going to buy the trench gun, and then once we have the zombie, once we have the trench gun, then what we're going to do is... Um, then we're going to worry about getting guns to the box. But you want to make sure that you have the trench gun and the MP40 before you start hitting the bo guns in the box. Because you don't want to waste all your money on the guns in the box. Get crappy guns and then not have a gun that can instantly kill the zombies. So buy the trench gun. That will be your power gun. You should always have a power gun and a point gun. So the MP40 is going to be our point gun. Oh, I should have saved him. MP40 is going to be our point gun. And the trench gun is going to be our power gun. Now we're going to hit the box. If we get anything, don't need it. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Throat's getting dry. I probably should stop this. Go get a drink. Anyhow, um, if if you you should always have a power gun. You should always have a point gun. So um, only trade out the MP40 for nothing, unless uh, and only trade out the the trench gun for either the ray gun on this map. The ray gun. I missed that. Wow. The ray gun or the freeze gun. Those are the only two guns that you should uh, trade them out for. As you can see, I'm just running around here, staying in this area. Um, if you well, I'll probably get that. You shouldn't get nukes, but I want to hit the box again, so I'll get a nuke. Um, but no, try to avoid nukes. They don't give you as many points. Got a sniper rifle. Never never get a sniper rifle, unless you want to. Um, but yeah. But keep the MP40 until you get a better gun. Keep the trench gun. Only trade out the trench gun for either a ray gun or the freeze gun. And then once you have either the ray gun or the freeze gun, then switch out your MP40 for the other gun. And that's all you do. So... So the MP40 or the Python. You could use the Python as well. So the MP40 will be switched out for nothing unless you have uh, the ray gun or the freeze gun already. Then you'll switch out. So I hope that makes sense. Trench gun. Oh, I got another end of the round. Trench gun will uh, switch out what's called. Oh, shit. We got to hurry up and get this. Oh, look at that. So we're going to switch out the trench gun for the ray gun. That's going to be our power gun. And now we're only going to switch out the MP40 for our uh or what's it called also make sure you always have money for ammo in case you need it never waste ammo on the box so now the mp40 is still a point gun we're going to try to get a lot of points um try not to die now as you can see we feel really safe so uh i got the ray gun as well 
So I'm going to actually spend my money on the quick revive then, because that would be the start of, uh, you know, doing good. Once you do good, get the quick revive. Watch that window, kill all the runners, make sure. Now this one is a little hard because there are quite a lot of zombies. Oopsies. I mean, there's quite a lot of ways zombies can come. But I got a ray gun now, so... Sorry, always got high-pitched. So uh, at this point, you can just run around this area. Try to stay clear of all the zombies. Hey, I didn't even know I had to use a crawler. All right, there we go. Crawlers on this map suck. I mean, not the crawlers. The runners on this map suck. Crawlers suck too, but the runners hate runners. Anyhow, um, we're going to stay in this area for a bit. And then we're just going to keep getting points. This is a good spot to stay for a while. I'll start running around. Oh, I guess you're the last zombie, right? All right, so we're going to go run and buy the quick revive. Also, when make when you buy quick revive, make sure you don't die while buying it. Um, it's a really bad thing. Make sure there's no zombies around you because you won't be able to uh, you won't be able to move for a while. You know, as you can see right there when you drink it. You should know this. This is common sense. But uh, yeah, we're also going to open up this door. Make sure you don't die. Now, this is it. We're not going to open that door up. Um, we're going to leave that door shut. I'm just running around with the zombie so I can show you. And then we're going to run up here. And then we're going to hit the box a few times and try to get the ray gun. And then, I mean, sorry, we already have the ray gun. We're going to need to try to get the uh, thunder gun. You should also rebuild that window. Make sure all those windows are built. And the window down here. But make sure, sorry, that was, that was rude of me. Um, when you're rebuilding the window downstairs, make sure the zombie's not near you or you'll get trapped down there and then you'll have to kill him and then you'll be angry. So you can just run around here for now, trying to get the gun out of the box. Uh, you know, just stay away from the zombie. These are kind of big areas on the map so you can run away from them. So just do that. Glance through, see what we get. See, we don't want that. Alright, so we don't have any more points now. We're going to kill the zombie. Oh, we're not going to get that. We're going to save that as long as possible so we can get the most uh, points out of it. most uh, The most use out of it, I should say. Alright, so we're going to rebuild this window. There we go. And then we're going to shoot these zombies. And we're going to get this. Alright. You can knife them, but if you, know, if you feel that you're going to end getting killed while knifing, just, just shoot them. It's not a big deal uh, at this point. You know, you don't need that many points. Knifing will get you a lot more points, so it's good to knife. But, you know, if you're watching this tutorial, you're probably not the greatest at zombies. So just shoot them. Um, and if you can see, there's a lot here. Because, you know, you don't want all these zombies coming after you. So shoot them during insta-kill so they all die. You get the idea. If you've ever played zombies, you should, you know, common knowledge. But I'm just going to keep telling you guys it. All right, now here is where it gets, uh, oopsies. Here's where it gets a little frosty. A little frosty. So we're going to actually use our ray gun and we're going to run this way. And we're going to kill all the zombies in the doorways. Make sure you don't kill yourself. And then we're just going to run down this way. And this is pretty much the strat. You stay on this side. You just run down here very slow. You wait for all the zombies to spawn. That way they're not spawning when you run in. Then you turn and shoot. Make sure you don't waste all your ammo. Should have bought ammo on the way down. But then you can stand in this area. Wait for zombies to spawn. And then when it feels safe, by not seeing a lot of zombies, then you can, can oh, kill them all. Then you can run back up, grab some MP40 ammo, and then go back to this area. And that's pretty much the, the, the tutorial, the strategy. Just run around in this area. Use your ray gun or your python if you have it. When there's a lot of zombies, run away. Oh, python. Don't want that. We have a, again, we have the ray gun, so we don't need the python. Oh, come on. Try to kill as many zombies as you can with insta-kill. Oh, I should have knifed him. I'll knife you. Alright, so, really simple. Just stay in this area. When you get over realms, switch to your power weapon. And shoot all the zombies that are stuck in the doorways. Like that one. These hallways are really big. As you can see, we have juggernauts, so we can take a hit in the face. Which sounds very dirty. Very dirty. Very dirty. And then just turn and kill all the zombies. Now, at this point... Let's say you can't kill all the zombies. Then we're just going to run in this area. And then we'll run back. So I'll show you that. Again, it really helps having the Juggernaut. I mean, Juggernaut and uh, the Ray Gun. We kill all these zombies. We obviously can't run through them. Oh, we probably could. But I'll show you for the sake of the video. Get all these. Aim for the head so you can kill them faster. Oh, 
Mr. Angry Zombie. All right, here's a point where it's like, oh, run to this side, and then just run past them this way. There you go. And then if it's in a doorway, you just shoot, and then you just keep running. Very simple. That's all you do. So it's just loops and loops and loops around. We're going to throw down a nade so we can get a crawler. So I can hit the box and end this thing. There we go. Because that's pretty much the strategy. It's really simple in this map. Um, I'm going to show you real quick for how to buy all the other perks. And, um, like sleight of hand will help. We're actually going to go this way to buy sleight of hand. You open this door and that door into over there. I do kind of want to get the uh, freeze gun first though. And that's not a freeze gun. Oh, hi, Mr. Zombie. All right. Also, make sure you rebuild this window. All right. Kill you. Kill you. You. All right. He didn't want to die. <coughs> oh, sorry. Sorry about that. All right. So we're going to open this door for 750 Open this door right here for 1000 And then you can buy Quick Revive, which I don't have enough money for. But that's how you buy Quick Revive. And then you just got to be careful because now more zombies can come through here because there's more... Uh, windows up there but it'll also help you with the solar chat because now they'll spawn a lot more up here and then when you run you'll have less zombies to run past Ugh. I'm gonna knife this zombie so I get some more points there we go hmm still not enough is there any more crawlers yes there are all right maybe he'll give me 3,000 you gonna give me 3,000 no you're not no you might nope is there any more all right, so there's no more zombies. Fix some windows. Fix this one. This one will probably give you some trouble. We're just going to keep hitting the box until we can get, uh, what's it called? Bruh. Ooh, there we go. Look at the Like, this, this, zombies, I love you. Zombies loves me. Now, you would only ever hit the box one more time for, uh, the, th the, what's it called? The monkey bombs if you want them. I don't use monkey bombs, so, uh, you know, it's not a big point. Um, also, there is a, uh, I don't know if I'm going to show you this, um, I would rather say stick to this, but if at any point you run out of ammo, like in your ray gun or your freeze gun, um, then I would say, uh, oh, I'll actually show you one more thing, actually. Now we're going to go by the third gun thing, but keep this, now s pretend it switched. This is your power gun, and this is your, uh, your MP40, so you're going to use this. However, we don't want to waste all our MP, MP uh, all this ray gun ammo as I waste all my ray gun ammo um but uh ooh, nuke also be careful when running like that because you might have missed the nuke we're gonna run oh hi Mr. Zelby we're gonna stay up here actually but uh, now your ray gun is your mp40 until you get another mp40 which I'll show you in a few seconds I don't like ray guns they're really weak there we go um ray guns watch out for splash damage as well He's as strong as an ox. Oh, fail. Be careful when shooting there. As you can see, I end up like shooting through the floorboard. And then uh, that doesn't really work. Okay, I'm going to go this way. We got a nuke, didn't we? Yes, we did. I was wondering why there's not so many zombies. All right, so just do this. All right, apparently this is the last zombie. All right, so we're going to spend some money. He's not the last zombie. But, uh, you know, just run with the Winter's Howl. And then whenever you run into a zombie... <coughs> oh gosh, I really need a drink. Sorry. Whenever you run into a zombie, just um, shoot the Winter's Howl like crazy and then switch to MP40. And uh, yeah. So the next thing we're going to do is buy that. We don't have enough points though. So that kind of sucks. Why don't you get me enough points, zombie? Uh, no more zombies. Alright, so we have to wait one more round and I'll show it to you. And then that's pretty much the solo strategy for this map. Again, really simple, really easy. Also, what I was saying, if you run out of ammo, you could always run through here, I guess. I want it. I don't know. I've never done it. So, I mean, you can do it and let me know. But you run through here and then open that. And then I think you can actually jump through the electric fence if you have a juggernaut. It's risky. But if, you know, if you want to kill them with the trap instead of wasting all your ammo, you can do that as well. But right now we're just going to uh, waste this. Um, I probably should use the freeze gun. I'll show you what the freeze gun looks like. Maybe some of you have never seen the freeze gun. But, you know, just stay in this area. Run around. Stay away from the zombies. Also, make sure you don't run into that wall. You saw that wall right there? That wall can fuck you up. And also, just spray at the floor. There you go. Very simple. Very scary. Very simple, though. Alright. So, we're actually going to run this way. Run, 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 run. Alright, all the zombies are... Eh, I probably should show you real quick. Alright, so when you see all the zombies, just spray your freeze gun at them. 
That'll slow them down as well if it doesn't kill them. And we're going to buy this for 4,000. Again, stay to the right side. Hold out your freeze gun. Go this way. Switch to your ray gun. And then go ba 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 ba. <laughs> Alright, and now we can... Oh. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that. And now when we go up, we can actually get some more points. Like so. Get that double points. Never do that. I'm good. That's why I did it. But never, ever run down the steps. Ever. And then you can buy the MP40. And now you can, instead of wasting your ray gun ammo, you can use your MP40. Again, just like before. But now you have two power weapons. So aim for the head with the MP40. Get a lot of points. Oh. Bitch. He doesn't like the... Doesn't like, doesn't like me. <laughs> all right. Uh, the only bad thing is it's so hard switching through all these guns. Okay. So get this way. Stand here. Shoot all the MP40 ammo at the zombies. Try to aim for the head. Okay. There we go. All right. There we go. And there's a crawler. Now, real quick. Um, Betty's are fun. I like Betty's. I'll show you what to do with Betty's. Um, when buying Betty's. There's two places you want to put Betty's. The first place is down here. This way you might end up getting screwed sometimes. So place the Betty here and like in this area. And that way when you have to run to that side, if any of the zombies come out of that building, you can you can avoid them. And then the other Betty spot is up here. Uh, you can put it in these hallways if you're getting closed. I mean, put down Betty's every round. Uh, but another spot to put Betty's is... Uh, right up here with you these will blow up more often but this way you can run out and get on like scared I usually put them in this area again that way that area is kinda just a choice but I put it there alright oh, he punched me did you see that he punched me I didn't do anything and he punched me alright oh shit see and then these Betty's usually get blown up it's just a matter of life matter of life and zombie death but as you can see, we're just running like this. Run through the door. Run th if they're there. Oh, nice. Max ammo. And then you can... Oh, just kidding. Just gather them all up. And then when you think they're all around you, then you can run through the other way. And then we're going to go. So we're going to... Oh, sorry, Mr. Zombie. You're in my way. Oh, no. He doesn't like that. And then just kill the other ones that are getting close to you. And then, as you can see, there's too many zombies here. So we're going to run this way. Run through here. Kill him. Also, um, on this map, you can take a lot of splash damage. Not too much, obviously, but you can take enough. So we're going to stand right here, turn around, and... Oh, it's like heaven with zombies. It's like zomb heaven. So that's pretty much all you got to do. Spray with your MP40. If you don't have the MP40, use your ray gun. If you don't have your ray gun, well, maybe zombies is not for you. And as you can see, that Betty will help you, and then you can run this way. Oh. And that's pretty much it, guys. That is the strat. Um, I'm going to save the crawler right here. I'm going to go buy Juggernaut. I already have Juggernaut. I don't know why I said that. I'm going to go buy uh, Quick Revive. And I'm going to end the video because you got it. You get it. Run around in this area. Run through this hole. Run like this. Run like this. Shoot the zombies that are near you. Open this door. Hit the box for the ray gun and the Winter's Howl. And then buy Speed Cola. So now you can reload faster, making your life easier. Um, also, I would say you don't really need speed cola if you have the ray gun right away. Um, and then come down here, buy that, uh, buy that, what's it called? Buy some Betty's, buy some Juggernaut, buy Quick Revive right there, and then, um, buy that. Now, if you buy Quick Revive, when you go down, you end up dying. Try to kill as many zombies as you possibly can with your freeze gun, your ray gun, and then just buy Juggernaut. The first thing you should do is buy Juggernaut, so it makes you have enough points. And then you can rebuy Quick Revive, and then go buy the other stuff, and then just keep doing it. Buy this as well. Now, when Quick Revive runs out, like I said, you only get three times. Then go buy Double Tap. I'll just show you real quick where Double Tap is. Right up here. Here's Double Tap. Buy Double Tap. They'll help you kill the zombies faster with your MP40. Put down, make sure you put down your buddies each round in this area down there as well. Um, you know, it's up to you where you want to put them, but I put them in this area. Always fix the windows that you're running around so they don't kill you. And that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you haven't checked out Nox on Toten yet, you should. If you enjoyed it, you should subscribe to the show by going to youtube.com slash show slash zombie high. New, uh, new episode each week of all the maps. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it.
and I will talk to you guys later. Happy zombie hunting.